Well, a month after Hurricane Debbie devastated local homes, tonight we are uncovering the full extent of the storm's impact through the story on water levels now. Yeah, 10 Tampa Bay's Aduria Chumba live for us in Sarasota with a closer look at this new vantage point, Aduria. Scientists at Mont Marine Lab say these visible effects of the storm can be seen in the bay right here behind me. The murky color of the water being the prime example. And they say this all points to low levels of oxygen in the water throughout the bay. And they say if it persists, it could create bigger problems, especially for our wildlife. Humans are having an impact in our environment and, and we see that when we get these big storm events because we see what's running off into the bay. Following Debbie, researchers reporting higher than normal nitrate and ammonia concentrations. They say this can lead to bacteria and algal blooms and the darkened water means less light penetration. It can cause or organisms to outcompete other organisms that normally wouldn't. We can see drown, drown outs of, of seagrass. It's now raising concerns about survival in underwater habitats. So if we start to see dead clams and crabs and, and, and you know, organisms like that, that, that will really affect our system ecologically, but also potentially economically. It's the loss of the habitat, especially related to those storms. So the more armored seawalls that we have that are then causing more erosion, beaches getting smaller and smaller, and them not having other habitats to use. An estimated 1,200 of 3,000 sea turtle nests were lost during the storm. Losing a nest is, is the turtle's equivalent of a house falling in the ocean, um, and they're losing that entire uh, energy that they put into that nesting process and so um, but it's not just turtles it's birds it's everything that uses the the beach big and small tonight the call for all round improvements to managing stormwater systems continues growing the addition of mangroves and and having healthier seagrass beds really does help alleviate some of those effects when you get stormwater flow but you know, on land, we can prevent some of that stormwater flow going right into the bay as well, which will help you know, lessen those impacts. And most researchers say they will continue monitoring for any changes, especially looking to the oxygen and nutrient levels. They also say that they're going to be looking for when the bay starts regaining its color, that signature aquamarine color. They also say that they are working with Sarasota County and urge people to keep an eye on water uh, conditions, uh, notices that are put out so that they can avoid any health issues if they go into the water. Live in Sarasota, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay.